So uh, Kelly and I have many interesting conversations, but one of the most interesting has been the, um, the difference in results between going to see Kelly as a doctor in private practice versus being in a online group where there's, there's a community element to the care. And one is very expensive and one is not so expensive. And yet, interesting things are happening in this community environment. So the theme has been on community. We've been talking about building community of doctors. I'd love for you just to share a little bit about your experience because I think that it's unlocking something that is, is you know, very much a, a part of the future of functional. Hi, everyone. Um, how many of you have heard of the book Wild Edge of Sorrow? Have you heard of that book, anyone? Metta, that's it, <laughs> from my side. I mean, it's like the most incredible books sometimes, like you're saying, just don't have the exposure that they deserve. So this book is by um, a therapist named Francis Weller, and it's about the many different, five to be specific, uh, forms of grief that we suffer from. And they range from ancestral grief that literally you incarnate with to uh, community grief, like the wound of not having the tribe any longer, um, to the natural world, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, a, a duck covered in oil and you feel your heart squeeze, that kind of thing. And um, some of them, the first gate, he calls it, is the grief that is induced at the prospect of losing your bodily integrity or, of course, your health. So you can imagine that many of the people that we serve suffer from many of these different gates, as he calls them, simultaneously. Um, and so many of us who do one-on-one -on -one clinical work um, can, you know, engage in all sorts of therapeutic uh, healing dynamics, but what is often missing is what you've been talking about from the beginning, um, and, and many of you I know operationalize in your practices, which is the community element. So um, in my practice since I stopped prescribing, um, almost, I think, seven, eight years ago now, um, my outcomes have been quite extraordinary, you know, shocking to even me. And I, you know, wondered how much of it is just placebo effect, uh, the beliefs that I can engender in these people and their readiness, right? Because my screening process is, it's something like, you know, a match.com application. And so I really had a lot of um, questions about how that could be scaled in an online program that is exactly what I otherwise, it's the same information, it's the same tools, basic stuff, pillars um, that I do with patients. And what we found were a year and a half, of, I guess what you would consider a beta. Uh, and what we found is that the results are more rapid and more extraordinary to the extent that at any given time I have you know, two to three, like, history-making case reports that I'm torturing myself to write up for the peer-reviewed medical literature. And, it, I mean, it's, it's shocking. And the only difference, because it's otherwise exactly the same information, is that I have a community. And that's it. That's literally the only difference, that these people are in a container that is populated by others who are basically in the shit with them. And, you know, many of the people, because it's not just women, that's another interesting factor. And by the way, there's obviously no screening, so it's just any, any old person can join. But nonetheless, you know, these people sit with each other when they are actively suicidal, when they are bedbound, when they are otherwise totally disabled and incapacitated. And then the ones who have made it through the birth canal literally light the path. And, you know, it's this concept of morphic resonance that once someone gets there, it's easier for others to get there. And so it's been fascinating for me to witness. It's powerful. One of the things that Terry Walls and uh, Dr. Cara Parker, who we've had on the Functional Forum in the last year, talking about this community, even group visits particularly, they've, they've said that the, the woman, the, the, the person who's been through the journey is a far more effective um, guide no uh, for going through it than the doctor who's sitting on the side who never had psychiatric illness. No question. No question. What is, yeah. the, what is the delivery system of community that you've, that you've harnessed? Um, it's something, it's, it's called Facebook. <laughs> it's wonderful. Very aligned with my values. Yeah, Zuckerberg in particular. No, it, yes, and we've actually explored it, my team, you know, other platforms. I'm sure some of you are even innovating these platforms as we speak um, for, you know, group connection. And, my, you know, the feedback that I get is that for whatever reason, it's hard um, to, to get 
the, this kind of um, active engagement elsewhere. So, so far, it's working. And, and I have um, one volunteer and one paid employee who have been through you know, the, the process and had tremendous success and they create this space. Um, and that's an important concept, you know, how do you, how do you maintain the container if it starts to get dark or if there's like some bad apple or something like that, you know, how do you uh, work with that without having an overly policed kind of environment? Do you think, you know, that, and here we have four of the meetup hosts that have built meetups in, in all the biggest cities across here. It, are there lessons, do you think that, can, you know, as doctors try and work out how do we, you know, get on top of chronic illness, it seems like being part of a community might be a good first step to thinking, oh, this is actually pretty valuable. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, why we're all connected, why we're all here, because we realize that we have uh, incredible power if we resonate, obviously, short of plagiarism, if we resonate similar messages um, and this notion of how to sort of do that, I think is not totally intuitive. I had, there was a learning curve for me, even to know how much to be involved, right? So if you're hosting, is it the you show? Probably not, right? So you're creating that, that space for other people to, you know, sort of organically um, coalesce. Okay. Organic coalescence <laughs> is the, uh, the theme of this evening. Bad the, uh, name. No, it's good. It's perfect. <laughs>